Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today I can't hold it back anymore. You've been asking for a Disney frozen Elsa cake so here it is. Firstly to make this cake you're going to need one and a half of the rich chocolate cake recipe and the recipe video for that one is on the website howtocookthat.net and I'll link to that recipe in the description below. Bake it in two 20 centimeter round tins and one one liter heat proof bowl that you've greased before you pour the mixture in and bake it for around 45 minutes or until it's cooked all the way through. Then let those cool and level off the top of the round cakes using a knife or a cake leveller and then take the bowl shaped one and cut it into two even layers. Cover the hair of your Elsa doll in plastic wrap to stop it from getting cake in the hair and then also cover the waist and the legs to protect their joints from getting frosting stuck in them. Then take a cake board and put a smear of icing on it to stop the cake from slipping off and then add your first layer of cake right over close to one edge leaving about a one centimetre or a half an inch gap between the edge of the cake board. Cover that in a layer of frosting and then add the other round cake on top. And I'm using my chocolate buttercream recipe for this one and that recipe is on the blog post as well for you. Then add the base of the bowl part and then cover that with more frosting. And again, we're putting it over to one side of the rounded cake and then put the rounded bowl part on top of that. Now we want our dough to sit towards the front of the bowl shape. So take your knife and cut down to the base so that you cut out a rectangle shape. Then take a fork and scoop out all of that excess cake out of the middle. Now push your dough down into the cake so that you can still see the hip joints. We want to carve the cake so that it's smooth at the front and the sides and then we want to carve the back to make it less bowl shaped so just cut it down a bit there and more like it's a flowing fabric dress. Use more of your frosting and some of your offcuts to build up the gap that's just between the round cakes and the bowl shape there and then continue to shave off little slices at a time until you've got a nice smooth rounded dress shape. Then cover the whole cake in frosting, bringing it up to a point around that super skinny waist. And once it's completely covered, take a strip of bendy plastic and use it to smooth out the frosting. You can get this plastic from craft stores or office supply stores as projector sheets or document covers. Now that you have your doll with a flat dress at the front and a big billowing skirt out the back, place that in the fridge for about half an hour. Then roll out some blue fondant in a big circle and place it over the top of the doll with her hands up. Arrange the creases of the fondant evenly around the dress so that we've got the nice folds going all the way around it and squeeze it in at the waist. Continue to arrange it until you're happy with it and then trim off the excess going out and around each of those folds so the edge of the dress is not straight but it's more just like flowing fabric beautifully flowing down there. Make sure it's pinched in at the waist there and then cut off the excess and then use your fingers to smooth the fondant into the doll shape so that you don't have like a bump at the waist so it's smooth going into the doll. Roll out some white fondant really thinly and cut it into a ribbon shape like this. Place the arms in the right position and then place this over the front arm so that the join is going to be underneath so that it's not so visible. Then trim it at the wrist to make it into a point on the back of her hand and then using your finger just smooth out that join in the fondant. Where it meets the shoulder there just trim it down towards the middle. Then cut another rectangle and repeat that on the other arm that's pointing straight up again wrapping it around so the join is at the back of the cake and then smooth it with your finger. Now take a strip of white and cut out a semicircle where each underarm is and place it across the top of the chest and around the back. Then trim the front into a V-shaped neckline just using your knife. Roll out some very thin blue fondant and then trim it so that it looks like a long rectangle with a love heart stuck in the centre. Place that over the body and wrap it around the back. Trim off one side using scissors, line up the other side and trim that off too so that it looks like a straight join on the back of her dress. Next, make a mini rectangle cookie cutter and push it into the bodice just to give it that texture. And you can see how to make your own cookie cutter on the iPad cake video and I'll link to that one at the end of this one or you can watch it on the How to Cook That channel after this one. 
continue to press it in all over the body until you've got that texture over the whole area. Then take some white luster dust and using a dry paintbrush, brush dust over the whole body section. You can put it over the arms as well so it gives it a bit of that shine. And then to give some faint stripes on the skirt, just tap the brush to let some of the dust fall onto the top section of the skirt and then take your dry brush and brush it straight down the dress. Then take a fine paintbrush and add a few more thinner lines around the base of the dress using that fine paintbrush. Now for the beautiful draping back part of the dress. Take a sheet of non-stick baking paper and place it on the back of the doll and draw the shape that you want the cape to be. Then scrunch up some paper towel into tubes that are narrower and, and firm at the top and more billowing at the bottom and rest them on the back of the skirt. And this is going to hold the cape off the dress while the cape is setting and while it's hot so that it's not going to affect the fondant. Heat the sugar and water in a saucepan until it dissolves and then wash down the sides of the pan with a wet pastry brush and let it boil until it just starts to go golden. Remove it from the heat and stir in a tiny bit of blue colouring and then immediately pour it out over your template and use a knife just to get it to the right shape. Now I've put mine on a cutting board covered in a tea towel here so that it doesn't cool down really fast. If you've got a cold bench top then I suggest you do that as well and then you want to let it cool for just a moment but not too much. If you pick it up straight away it'll be too runny and it'll all drain off but if you leave it too long it's going to be set and you're not going to be able to shape it. Just lift it up, hold it across the back of the dress where you want it to join on and quickly adjust the way it's sitting and then just hold it. Just be patient and hold it still while it's starting to set. If you need to trim off some of the bottom using an oiled knife, just press it down around the base before it sets hard. Then leave it for about another 10 minutes. It should be able to hold itself firmly enough, but we just want it to be completely cooled. And then you can peel off the nonstick baking paper and remove the paper towel. Use some royal icing across the back of the dress and some on the base of the cape to ensure that it doesn't slip off the cake when you're moving it to the table. Now this sugar cape will absorb moisture from the air so if you're not using the cake the same day place this cape part in an airtight container and only add it a few hours before you're serving the cake. Use the royal icing to pipe some snowflakes onto the base of the cape. Add more royal icing around the base to cover the whole cake board and then add a snowflake to her hand and some more around the base of the dress. I'll do a little bonus video for you separately this week to show you how to make those snowflakes. I've also added some wire to her hair to make it stick out on the angle like it does on the poster. Then you can put on the let it go song and serve up slices of your Elsa cake. And it's a delicious moist chocolate cake that will delight all the little girls who see it. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more cake tutorials, amazing desserts and chocolate creations. Put all your requests in the comments below. Have a great week and I'll see you Friday.